Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tekken and and today I'm going to be reviewing the Corsair MM800 Polaris Mousepad. So let's jump right into today's video. So I picked up this mousepad a few days ago and I've been playing around with it and I've come to really, really like it. Right now it's going for 50 bucks on Amazon, which is a great deal considering what you get. Hopping straight into the software by Corsair, we can see that you can customize the different lighting presets that Corsair gives you such as spiral rainbow, spir rainbow wave, visor, color shift, color pulse, color wave, static color, and lighting link. And you can turn these on and off and right here on top it shows a live preview of the mouse pad. So that's pretty cool. But if we go into advanced mode, we can make a new, let's make a new one. And we can select, let's turn this guy off. Let's select this one and let's say we want this to be red or we could select this one and let's say we want it to be blue or we can select them all and make them any color we like out of the 16.8 million colors here so as you can see this is really cool and it gives you a lot of customization um for your mouth in your mouse pad which is awesome so also if we had like my brother has some other corsair products so he syncs his, uh, not this keyboard, but his um, mouse and mouse pad up. So it starts with the mouse and goes to the mouse pad and it just keeps looping through. It's, it's really actually cool to see. So if we hop out of advanced, we could just put the spiral rainbow back on. Or I have it on visor right now, but whatever works really. So that's going to be it in the software. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video out of the software. So now moving on from the software, we can see that the LEDs are very, very bright and can be seen there's a lot of light in the room, which is very helpful and helps justify the price of this. On the top of the mouse pad, there's a little hub, which has a six foot durable braided cable, as well as the USB pass through to connect your mouse to. This is very helpful and saves you an extra USB port on your computer. On the bottom right corner of the mouse pad, there's the Corsair logo, which lights the color of the preset you have selected in the software which is very nice to see. And the back of the mouse pad, there are tons of little grip, grippy circles to keep the mouse pad from sliding on your desk. These worked very well in my testing when I purposely tried to move the mouse pad, but it wouldn't budge unless I picked it up purposely. This is the hard texture mouse pad, so if you're coming from a cloth mouse pad, it will take some getting used to. However, the surface has very low friction, which is extremely helpful whilst gaming, so your mouse doesn't get caught in the um, cloth. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next video, peace out.